So I love the farm series, so I want to give it a go for a let's play. It's actually cause, um, I guess I, you could say I've been inspired by other farm content creators as well. I also love talking about the series, discussing it with my friends as well. So, why this game you might be wondering. Farm 6, The Binding Blade. First farm game that was released of the show's record. Shows of Kaga left intelligence systems. Also the first Fire Emblem game released for the GBA. And it definitely shows us some of the gameplay. Well, I did do a practice run of this game with my brother, and it was actually lots of fun. And definitely um uh what's the word? Definitely like consolidated I really like this game, I really wanted to show it off. Coincidentally too, it's going to be getting a lot of recognition lately too. We have um, Project Ember game released recently, which is basically like a remake of this game, I guess you could say. It's a ROM hack, but still. Basically, rem basically remakes the game, changes many, many things, adds many new features. Also heard that there's a new rebouncing patch as well. I don't know if that's released yet or not, but we'll see. It all sounds really interesting. I actually like the changes that it's gonna have as well from my part. I still like the OG game a lot, even despite its shortcomings. I still find it lots of fun to play. So I guess without further ado, let's make a start. So, uh, because of that practice file I did, we actually had the option to do hard mode, but I want to stick to normal. It's what I'm used to, and also hard mode's actually really difficult in this game. Dawn of Desi's chapter 1. Well, first, we have some exposition. Man and Dragon once coexisted in harmony, however, man shuddered that harmony with a sun onslaught. The great war, now known as the Scouring, was fought for dominion of the land. Losses were tremendous for both sides, and in this war, the very laws of nature itself were twisted and distorted bring chaos and unease. Defeated and humbled, the dragon disappeared from the realm. Mankai then began to rebuild and repopulate their newly won land. A millennium has passed since then. So yeah, in the past, dragons and humans fought against each other. It was the world of scouring. And then afterwards, this land has been made. So, other than defeating the dragons, the humans of Aleve quickly spread the culture and civilization to the farthest reaches of the continent. In the west lies the Kingdom of Etruria, which is widely considered to possess the most refined culture in all of Aleve. The Kingdom of Bern, with its powerful military and logical pragmatic people, is located on the other side of the continent in the east. These are the two most powerful nations elite, the weaker nations situated between them. These smaller lands are the Lycian League, whose numerous territories are independently ruled by a number of Marquesses that are bound by a vow of allegiance. Ilia, where the people arduously till their frozen soul, and many become mercenaries to earn money to survive. A bit off topic, but my, for some reason my brother was calling Sake Brazil for some weird reason. I don't know. Sake and Brazil have nothing to do in combat, anyway. Uh, Sake, where various clans ride through the plains on horseback. Although there were occasional clashes between these nations, the majority of the people of Alib lived in peace. That peace, however, was not to last because it's farmer. <laughs> King Zephyr of Bern has commanded his forces to conquer the entirety of Alib. Bern's armies first attacked Sake and Ilia, and ruthlessly massacring all who opposed them. Now, Burn is mounting a merciless invasion into Lycia. Bray is a territory of Lycia known for its beauty and honorable lords. Bray's Lord Roy was in Ostia, Lycia's largest territory, when the invasion began. He had been sent to study to become 
next Marquess of the Parade Territory. However, the sitting Marquess and Roy's father, Elliwood, who has been ill, has sent for Roy to return to lead Foray's soldiers in defending against Burn. Marquess Hector of Austria leads the Council of Lords in this year. At the same time Elliwood sent for Roy, Marquess Austria's daughter, Lena, was in Foray visiting Elliwood, who is Marquess Austria's long-time friend and confident. On receiving his father's message, Roy hurries home, taking with him his vassals and Bors, a knight from Ostia, who is responsible for Lena's safety. The story begins when Roy reaches the outskirts of Frey. So here we go, chapter one. And there's bandits, because it's farm. Wars! They've all hidden themselves inside the castle. Heh, <laughs> even though with the greatest knight in Lucia is no much more an illness, it seems. <laughs> you were right when you said there wouldn't be any many soldiers. All getting ready to defend gets burned. Of course I was right, I'm always right, you fool. Our reinforcers could be here any minute. Alright, you curs, listen up. Kill everyone in the castle while we still got time. Then we can waltz out of here with all the loot. <laughs> Castles ain't the only place to loot. Let's go ransack the villagers and take everything they got. And a small little tutorial though. <laughs> oh god, it's madness. Uh, <laughs> I think when I first played, well, when me and my brother first played this game together, um, Merlin's voice was very questionable. Some like high pitched with the start not gonna repeat because I don't wanna hurt anyone's ears. Hey, Lord Elliwood! Under attack by bandits from Mount Bourne. I understand, thank you, Melanus. Blast it. But I'm not in this pitiful state, I would take care of them all myself. Lord Elliwood? Lena, you must hide yourself. This castle is gonna become a war zone. No, my lord, I can fight too. Don't be absurd. I couldn't face Hector if something happened to you in my own castle. Father, but it's going to be alright. Roy should be here any minute, so you just need to hold out on until then. He'll drive off these dastards. Monus. Send a message to Roy to let him know the current situation. We need his help. Yes, my lord. Oh, it's Lance, what's the matter? Why are you in such a hurry? Oh, Roy, bandits over the are attacking the castle as you speak. No, it's the Marcus and Han. He's inside defending against the bandits attack. But I don't know how long he can last his illness. Excuse me, Lance, is it? Is Lady Lena safe? You must be a knight of Ostia. Lady Lena is in the castle. She should be alright. He's in the old Elliwood after all, but he can't last forever. No, I shouldn't have let Lena go to the castle before me. Lord Roy, regret won't solve anything. We must reach it to castle. Lord is right. We must make haste. Yes, you're right. This is no time to spare. Very well to arms then. Our target is the castle. We must rescue everyone. So, pretty simple. First chapter. Into the plot. To save our father from bandits. So, yeah. The objective of this one is pretty simple. Get this village. And then just go up here. Take out everything in your sight. And reach the castle. Here's the boss, he's gonna stand on the f gate to defend it. Here's a brigand, by the way. He's gonna try and destroy this village as well. So, we'll stop him from doing that. So, before we go on, we should look at the units we have deployed. We have uh, six units. So, first off, start with the Lord Roy. Uh, I believe this is only his. It's actually his second appearance in the game. First one was melee, I think. And Melee was one of the games that kickstarted Fire Emblem's Western appeal, I guess you could say. Anyway, uh, his base stats look kind of atrocious. He's kind of hard to train because of his low movement, and it, being sword locked isn't the worst thing in the world, but of course, no one to range, which is not the worst thing in the world, but 
the bin, annoying. So yeah, and also his growth rates, they're alright, but because of how balanced they are, he can very easily like get RNG screwed. Uh, those growth rates are 80% HP, 40% strength, 50% skill, 40% speed, 60% luck, 25% defense, 5% res. So his growth rates are pretty honest, but nothing stands out. So at least he has this, the rapier. Uh, effective against cavalry and knights, which will be nice later. Not for this map, but it does have good hit at least, so that's nice. Because hit rates in this game are at kind of a premium, as I'll probably show there. Um, who's next? Ah, let's go with Marcus next. This is a powerhouse of a unit. He's a pre promote. Uh, he has good weapon ranks. Aladdin's in this game, he has all three weapons, which is kind of insane, to be honest. And all of them can be very useful. Uh, his base stats are pretty decent too. He might not seem, like, as amazing to like first time player, but trust me, they are really good. He's able to one round everything on this map, I think, except for the boss. Which means he can get us out of a pinch. Um, he can get us out of a pinch. If we find something in the tough spot. He also has really good skill, so he's actually very reliable too. Uh, being a Jaken, of course, he has low growth rates. Compared to everyone else. He has 60% HP, 25% strength, 20 skill, 25% speed, 20 luck, 15 defense, 20 res. So yeah, Marcus. Um, and yeah, on hard mode, another thing about Marcus, definitely use him. He's extremely useful. And you need all the help you can get on hard mode. So now let's talk about the Christmas calves. We have Alan and Lance. They're pretty similar, to be honest. Alan is specializing more on strength, with Lance focusing more on speed. Uh, the sign weapons are slightly different, and they have the same weapon ranks. So not too much different between these two. Go with that growth rates now. Um, so Lance, or Alan, sorry. Alan has 85% HP, 45 strength, 40 skill, 45 speed, 40 luck, 25% defense, 10 res. Pretty decent. And then Lance over here. He's pretty similar, he has 80% HP, 40% strength, 45 skill, 50 speed, 35 luck, 20 defense, 15 res. So basically just swapping a few stats with Alan, in terms of growth rates. Uh, another thing we should point out too, lots of this game are kind of terrible in terms of hit rate. Jab has only 55 hit, Iron Lance only has 70 hit, and it doesn't get much better than that, so... And, uh, I mean these enemies don't have good avoid, but... Enemies in this game actually, well, not that guy. Most enemies actually have luck stats in this game too, so you're gonna find your hit rates to be very shaky. Which isn't great. At least swords are still good. Iron Sword has 85 hit, which is actually pretty good. And most of the early games for the axe enemies too, so we'll have weapon triangle advantage and weapon triangle, and this game gives plus one might and plus ten hit. Then minus one might, minus ten hit if you have weapon triangle disadvantage. Let's go over our next unit, it's going to be Walt. Uh, his base stats look terrible, <laughs> unfortunately. No stat over 5, except for Con, which doesn't count. Uh, only 89 hit at base, because Iron Bow has 80 hit, and his skill and luck is not existed. Um, he has chip damage at least, so as you can see here, um, can help set up kills, so even if you don't want to use him, uh, he at least has that player face utility. Unfortunately, of course, he's an archer, his enemy face is non existent. Except if you put him in range, the enemy's too range, so does that. He's definitely worth training if you want archer, because he joins early, and the other archer that joins isn't that much better than him, so. <laughs> Yeah, there's that. So if you want a sniper, that's not a pre-promoted one. Yeah, you can't really, you don't really have much of a choice. Um, in terms of growth rates, he has 80% HP, 40% strength, 50 skill, 40% speed, 40 luck, 20 defense, and 10 reds. And yeah, these growth rates, I believe, are going to be some of the best we're going to see in this game too. I think both of these units are pretty good ones. Uh, and then we have wars. Uh, I think my brother said that his face looks like a loaf of bread, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> Uh, he's locked to Lancers, which isn't great. He's an Armour Knight, so he has full move. Uh, he has good block, though. 
The enemies, even though they have weapon charm advantage, that it's gonna take a while for them to kill because I don't think all of them double. As he have three speed, they'll need seven speed to double him, and none of them do it seems so. Maybe on hard mode that's a different story, but anyway. Uh, Wars has kind of strange growth rates. He has 9% HP, 30% strength, 30% skill, 40% speed, 50% luck, 35% defense and 10 res. So strength is kind of lacking. He has higher speed growth than strength growth, which is very odd. He's a very odd armor knight, but at least he joins early, so there's a lot of time to train him if you want to use him. And he might be important for some... There's another thing you can do later, but it's not super important. So, alright, that's all the units. So let's get started, shall we? So, what I like to do... Well, first off, let's go into options. So I want to put animation to 2, because I like the backgrounds. You can see the fast, exit the fast, terrain on, unit... Okay, that's what that does. <laughs> but yeah, we definitely want the panel. Strat and detail. I guess I can show this off. Basically, detail... Uh, you don't get, um, times 2 showing if you double, but you do get the AS. And you also have to calculate the damage yourself. So it's basically like FE4, FE5. So if you like those games, then yeah, you can do that. I, I like Strat too. Because if I need to look at the enemy's, um, AS, it's not too bad. Uh, because you just calculate the con. Um, Subtile help, why not? Auto cursor on, auto end turns, music, sound effects, and a window color. I want to do this one. And unit animation. Yeah, you definitely want those on. Anyway, um, let's get started, shall we? So, to make. Because I want to get a lot of experience in the calves, let's take this first turn a bit slowly. Carefully. We'll have Walt up out here. That should be fine, right? Yeah. Let's have Walt help out here. Have Boris stand behind here. We'll have Marcus go over here. And we'll have Greg over here. So, let's do our first enemy face. This is reinforced already, but I'll have to go for me to get to the castle. So, yeah. Nicely dodged. And we took here, which is nice, but we don't double. And we got this guy. Who also misses, which is good. Very nice. The archer's coming too. Alright. Let's take him out on player phase. This game's pretty player phase focused because enemies are stronger than they are in FE7 and 8. But of course, enemy phase baiting is really good too. Archer can't reach, which is good. I can get this cut of if I want, but Lance is the better unit, so. And yeah, I want to see which Cav gets the better level ups in the early game. That's the one I would like to use. So yeah. Now I've, I want Wars to go visit the village because I can't do much else in this map to be useful. I think that I don't know, Lance are good enough to bait the enemies, even if they get hit. So yeah, let's see. Maybe I'll have Walt help out here too. Let's do that. Alright, what's this guy got? Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna give him a cut down. Alan's generally the one that gets good for me, so I don't mind. I'm that archer that could complicate things. Ooh, nice. 2% <laughs> crit. Alright then. Um, gonna have to take the archer's attack, unfortunately. Nah, I don't, definitely don't want to do that. I mean, we can also do this, maybe. But, yeah, let's just play it same. I can also have... What's this guy's range? What's this guy's range? I'll probably have the launch intercept brigand coming over here. Let's 
do something like this. Like I said, playing it safe is not a bad idea. <laughs> because if you don't want to use Marcus, then yeah, you kind of have to do something like this. Yeah, we're gonna get attacked here. Might have Marcus just go kill it. Go ahead and kill that archer. Because yeah, I don't think we can double him. Has three, yeah, so. How do you do? Oh, yeah, sure, double. Alright, let's go and hit. Hey, are you knights going to the castle? I know this isn't much, but please accept this money on behalf of all of us. Use it well. And we got money. It's actually quite a bit of money in this game because, oddly enough, enemies don't actually drop items in this game at all. So, there's that. Yeah, because of how this guy's positioned, I don't think we can kill with... I don't think he even kills. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we can kill with Walt and then go in. I think we're just gonna have to take another... Either take another pot shot from the archer or we'll just kill the archer with Marcus. So, level up. Oh, that's a... that's a great one. That's my Alan for you. And yeah, I might as well do that. Roy, what does he do? He doesn't do bad, but... Eh. How much damage is he doing again? 10. 4. Eh, it's not too bad. You can let Roy do some fighting. Nice one. Um... Can you reach any miles? No. Maybe I'm wasting gold here. He might be useful for that guy, so you know what? Let's turn him back. He goes for Roy, which is fine by me. Yeah, I might just get this one to Alan as well. Look at that powerhouse Alan here. He went on the house, which does give him a little bit more avoid, which is annoying, but... I can show off war is what he's capable of. Uh, it's only 50 hit, but it would help. Ah, oh, nice one. Help Lance secure this one. Very nice. I'll see if we can get another couple of Lance to see how he levels up. I doubt he's gonna get as good as level up as Alan Bulls. And there we go. Also, we probably don't want to bait with Alan too because he's on full health and he has a vulnerary too. Alright, so these fighters are coming in. Rory coming. Mark is coming. Another thing about this game you might want to know is that supports are indeed a thing. However, most of them build up very slowly. So, you're probably gonna need to do a little bit of support grinding, but for this playthrough, I'm gonna avoid doing that. So, let's see. We can't make use of any train, can we? No. So, let's just play it safe again. See these guys move or not. Hey, Doki. Let's see how this goes. And that's good touch. And yeah, actually that's something else we can talk about too. So, this game really likes having characters that are very similar to FE1 or Shadow Dragon. So for example, uh, in this game we have um, Chris's Cavs of course, pretty similar to the ones in Arcanea. We have Marcus, who's very similar to Jaken. We have Walt, who's very similar to um, Warden. We have Bors, who's supposed to be like Drog. There's even more examples coming up too. So anyway, uh, can we go in the forest? Yeah, we can. Let's save. Uh, only 21 hit. We'll be in range of another one though. But I feel like I think we've been playing a bit too safe, so why not? Let's go for some more risky. Place. Nice one. Marcus. 
Marcus gonna go there? Yeah, you can go. You can go there. I think this guy's gonna just go for. I don't know. I want Marcus the boss because the boss is a little bit scary, and also Marcus sets up the kill very nicely. So. Alright, let's see what happens. And yeah, make use of terrain too. Enemy hit rates aren't very good either, so... And lowering them even further can help you a lot. And yeah, this one also goes well. So yeah, Alan's gonna get a lot of experience out of this map. Probably want to use him then. As usual. Especially because he did get the better level up as I predicted. And there we go. A level up for Alan. Oh man. Another really nice one. I'll have Lance aid in the next fighter here if he moves. Um, I'm not so sure if he actually moves, we'll see. And Marcus is wing the wings just in case we need him. Roy keeps moving forward. He needs the C's. Every map in this game has C's as its objective except for the final one. Yeah, this guy does move. So yeah, that's another thing about Roy too, because he's not very good, and not very good at combat, and also if you don't train him, he's really he's at risk of dying a lot. Uh, yeah, you he's, take him to the front is basically a challenge in of itself, I guess you could say. Another part of this game's core design. So yeah, another kill for Alan. We're just gonna give all the kills to Alan. And I could maybe rescue drop him in range of this, but we don't need to. We can be in next turn. Probably want everyone to stay close together because um, because there's also an archer up there. We probably want all our forces to take out all the ends. So we can also go into that forest too. I might would lance, and then we can. Go in with the kill with Alan as usual. Now let's do something like this. And Roy can wait here with Marcus. Wars unfortunately isn't too useful on this map. There's so many axe units and his hit rates aren't the best then. Alright, everyone's moving. Nice dodge on Lux. I mean, Lance hasn't even gotten hit yet, so... He's doing good. Now let's give another one... ...to Alan. It'd be cool if he gets the boss skill too, but... Alright, that guy can't reach. That guy can't reach either, so... Be able to assess... We probably might be able to assess him the next time, which would be nice. Maybe we can get into the Archwood. Nah, it doesn't look like it. We got victory music. Music in this game, the sound for isn't the greatest, especially because this is an early GB game after all. So they were only getting the bearings, but there's some tracks later on that I think are legit pretty good, even with this kind of bad sound pop. Yeah, the GB definitely, GB sound has definitely improved a lot after this game. So let's see here. Maybe you can have wars do this. Very nice. And then maybe Walt do this. Very good. His hit rates aren't the best. He's very prone to missing, even with 80 hit and true hit, where the RNG is rolled twice, giving meaning that um, high hit rate hits more likely low hit rate rates are even lower than shown. And now the Cavs can just clean up there. Very good. And now we can start working on the boss with Marcus. Because you see here, yeah he can't, <laughs> he has trouble killing Marcus and Marcus is pretty good against him so. Let's do this. 
You bumbling idiots. You can't sit down as few perfect knights. Very good. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Marcus is super reliable. Definitely make use of him in a tight spot. And I'll definitely use him if we do encounter some tight spots. Anyway, that missed, but that was to be expected. Uh, let's see, how does Alan do? Doesn't die, and he does kill. I'll we'll probably just enemy phase and hope for the best. And he still kills, even though he healed on the front. Nice dodge. Some 8 damage, and that's it. So, uh, yet to get Alan gets another kill. Level Z. Level 4. And even more strength. Not much speed, but we might be able to fix that. Um, yeah, nothing else to do here. Let's just seize and end this map. Father, Lena. Roy, is that you? Roy! I'm so glad to see you both. Thank goodness you're on hand. Thanks for the rescue, Roy. Of course, Father. How's your health? Well enough. Have some life for me yet. Roy, do you know why I called you back here? I to take over your your role by leading the soldiers of Frey. You must join the rest of the Lysian army to defend our people. Exactly. As you know, Bern has commenced an invasion of Lycia. We are honor bound to follow the ancient vows of our allegiance. Lycia needs every lord's army, and we must oblige. Of course! I'm truly sorry to interrupt your studies or force you into this war. I'm not well. I have no condition to lead an army. Father! Lord Elliot, I'll go with you. <laughs> Lord Elliot, I'll go with Roy. My father leads Lysia's largest army. I'm saying my magic will be of help to Roy. Oh, and I must return to Ostia. Why? The fact of preparing for battle, there is no one sing on the front of Ostia. It must be an uneasy thing for the people not to have a sing lord. As the daughter of the Marquess, you must take the throne until Hector returns. This will that'll put the people at ease. Do you have any objections? No, my lord. Roy, I've arranged a contract with a group of mercenaries, but to meet them at the border to burn, Menos will come to you. He is knowledgeable and experienced, and should be of great help. Thank you for everything, father. Don't worry, my son, I have absolutely faith in you. Fight bravely, and show everyone who is the next Frey, <laughs> who the next Frey, Marcus of Frey is. Yes, father. Boars, I have a favor to ask of you. You need not ask, my lady. I'll copy Lord Roy in his travels and protect him in my very life. Thank you, Boars. Care, Roy. I will. You too, Lena. That was nice. Elliot. Uh, I mean, even if you don't like him, if he's severed, he is a pretty good father in this game. I think very smart too. So yeah, that's chapter one done, and also the intro to the story as well. So next time we chapter two, we'll go. We're gonna go ahead and meet those mercenaries and take the fight to burn for the first time. So I'll see you guys then.